Hi guys and welcome to this quick myfitnessbiz.co.uk tutorial. Um, I just want to quickly tell you about something that I invested in this morning. You may have seen a uh, blog post or out, wrote about it and this is about boxshotking.com and this is basically a quick graphics creator and editor um, to help you with your fitness website and um, it does cost a bit of money. I think it's $99 or £83 but I invested in this morning and so far I love it. So I just want to quickly show you what you can do with it. So. I'm logged in, I've already paid and I'm in the members area now because I've sold on the videos. The video is at the, the bottom of the article that you see earlier on the Facebook page. But I'll go down to create and click start now. Next up I choose on the template that I want to uh, add in. So like you say, I go through them quickly. I think they've got around about 44 templates they're saying. But you'll see they're all 3D images that you can sort of just add your own logo and images to. So just scroll down, you've got ebooks, hardback, reports, sort of, that's pretty cool books, uh, folders, files, boxes, CD covers, DVD, open inserts and covers, um, iMacs, MacBook Pros, HDTVs, iPad Minis, oh, that's pretty cool, you've got the iPod as well. You even got one for the Kindle, so if you're creating an image for the Kindle, then um, I know one of my clients has just created a new Kindle book, and it'd be cool if I could create a logo for her and put her logo on top of this, and that would look awesome. Keep scrolling down, what else we got? We've got sort of HTC, <laughs> Samsungs, other Nooks and Kindles, um, membership cards to try and sell, upsell into your membership area. Okay, so for this example, I'm just going to create a quick one. I'm going to use that ebook covers at the top uh, what I want, I want a ring spiral binder, let's choose that one so I click through on that so now you choose the background colour for the ebook so you can either choose uh, system defaults or these ones upload your own or go for a custom colour uh, I might just go for a custom, uh, go for system default just to show you, let's go for something plain and simple if we can oh not that one Cancel, let's go for let's go for this one. Okay, not the nicest, but you, you get the drift. So you can go through different ones and have a little play about. Click select and continue after I've sort of chosen the area that I want to use my background. If it's standardized like that, I guess it doesn't really matter. Select and continue. Okay, so now this is the background. Next I need to either insert images or upload the uh, images. So um, I've already uploaded an image, but I'll just quickly check, see if it's there. So I want this one here, so maybe I can just go insert images and see if it's there. Go to uploads, click it. There you go, so this was an image I had designed actually previously on Fiverr, but I wanted to add it to this rather than getting him to, to do it again, to add it to the ring, bind, ring binder, I can uh, add it myself. So this was for an ebook that I was creating, I've now changed it into a video tutorial guide which I'll be releasing hopefully tonight if if all the gremlins get out of my computer or tomorrow so I don't want to change anything there because I like it as it is but if you wanted to you could insert more text or change the background add different templates so we didn't have to do the ring binder next click finalize and create your 3D cover and it will be loading Scroll down, and there you have it, your own design, which is pretty cool. And now we can see, as I say, I didn't put much effort into it, but uh, you've got little edges on the side with different colours. I'd probably change that, and I would, you know, have a little mess around with it to be able to make it a bit better. But you saw how easy and simple that was, just to create cool sort of new graphics of all those different ones. If I wanted then to put this into a website, what I could do is click this transparent background. And then you can place that against any any image or colour in the background of your website and it will just assume the background colour, which is pretty cool. But because I'm going to upload this on Facebook just to show you how easy it is, I'm going to uh, take it off transparent colour and just put it to white, which is down the bottom, or FFFFF, which is the hex colour code. Next, I want to download it. So it's down here, ring, ring spiral binder.jpg, wait for time. Show in folder. I'll copy that across and put it on my desktop. 
that's there and next I'll upload to Facebook and you'll see upload to my Facebook page scroll down add photo upload photo go to the desktop where I had it scroll down and try and find it there it is showing off the new gadget post that what I'll do is I'll put the link into the Boxshot King. It will be an affiliate link. I the reason I do that, I just want to be upfront about you, is that I give away all this free content, but I do put affiliate links in there just to sort of help me pay a bit of my student loan back. So if you do have a look at it and um, check out the blog post I wrote earlier, if you do purchase it, then please use the affiliate links, and it won't cost you anything extra, but it'll make me a, a bit of money as well. But I'm actually showing you this because I've used it, I love it, and not because I'm uh, just trying to make a bit of money off the back end of it. That's it for this tutorial. I hope that was nice, clear and simple. And uh, until next time, I'll catch you later.